Donald Trump made headlines earlier this week when he threatened fire and fury in response to nuclear threats from North Korea. The president wasn't backing down today. In fact, he even suggested his original comments weren't tough enough. They've been doing this to our country for a long time, for many years. And it's about time that somebody stuck up for the people of this country and for the people of other countries. And if anything, that statement may not be tough enough. What would be tougher than fire and fury? Well, you'll see. You'll see. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has been quick to dismiss Trump's threats in recent days. The country's state media claims a plan could soon be in place to fire four missiles that would hit near the U.S. island territory of Guam, which is home to two American military bases. Even Trump's own party is split about how to respond. There's a lot of propaganda that comes from Kim Jong-un and his administration. Uh, in many respects, they're speaking to their own people with that rhetoric. Uh, they speak to the rest of the world with that rhetoric and to us here in the United States. Um, but I don't, I, I don't believe that uh, we should actually be uh, using military action against North Korea uh, for what is just standard practice by uh, North Korea uh, with coming up with provocative statements all of the time. That alone shouldn't be enough for military action. Trump wouldn't answer questions about whether he's actually considering a preemptive strike. As of this morning, U.S. defense officials say there are no indications of any imminent missile launch activity from North Korea.